Okay, um, this is more of what I got yesterday. Uh, I, I, this is Monday, and I, this, everything here I actually got Sunday, but I was just too beat at the end of the day to go through it. So um, here we go. Um, almost everything that you see here was stuff that people brought to me today. Um, the only things I did buy um, at the flea market, um, game-wise actually, was um, this. I bought uh, these games. I bought a PS3 Fight Night Champion, a Blur for the PS3, a Fallout New Vegas, and I got a Batman Arkham City. I'm, I don't know. I, I believe this is probably the most value of the games that I got. And I got a Lost Planet uh, Extreme Condition um, Colonies Edition. I got these five games. <coughs> I have allergies. Okay. Of course. God bless me. Anyway. I got these five games for $20. Um, then at the flea market, I got um, two stacks of uh, these CDs you see here, and it's a mix of rock and uh, classical. Uh, I handpicked them. I paid a buck a piece. I paid twenty-three for that. So, uh, oh, and the other thing that I bought at the flea market, um, I got these really nice. And, uh, they're basically they're a set, you know, painted similar. As you can see, there's no markings on them, but I already know they're Japan and. Um, I figure they're probably like, uh, I guess, turn of the century is what I'm going to say because it does not say anything on them and they uh, certainly wouldn't have just had a paper label. Uh, I think it's like pre-1910 they didn't uh, always mark stuff. Then, then there was like a time when they were doing Made in Nippon. So they, these may be like right at the end of uh, um, like the 18th century, I guess. I don't really know what these are worth anymore. Um, people used to like these. Um, and, they, and a pair like this should be worth, I don't know, a couple of hundred bucks. Maybe as much as a straight kitty. I don't know if you can see it. I see this cat all the time. He looks all dirty. Anyway, I see these things all the time, right? Um, no, I don't know. Uh, for They used to be worth about two uh, in that range. I don't know what they're worth now. If they're worth about $100, I may just give them to a friend of mine. He knows who he is. I'll let him put them on eBay and sell them. Um, Okay, the rest of this stuff, except for, well, okay, this here, um, these are perfumes. I had a friend, I have a friend, and also uh, a couple of games he bought for me. He goes to this thrift store, and they get stuff that um, that he buys, and every once in a while he'll see stuff that he knows I like. For two ninety five, I got, um, what do you call it, uh, a N Nintendo 64 transfer pack. I believe these have jumped in value. Yeah, cat's gone. I believe these have jumped in value, and I think they're worth about like $12 now. I used to not be able to sell them for $5, uh, but I think I'm going to fish out all the ones I have. I probably have about 10 or, or, or more of them, and I'll probably just put them on Amazon and, um, and sell them that way. Uh, because when I bring them to the flea market, they don't buy them from me yet anyway. Uh, sometimes someone asks, but not so much. I, I got a Vectorman 2. I don't know. Uh, I paid two ninety five. This might be um, a rarer game, harder to find. Uh, Genesis games don't seem to be worth a lot for so I mean it could be like a really hard to find uh, Genesis game I mean if it was on Super Nintendo it would probably be worth like 40 or 50 but um on Sega Genesis I, I if I had to guess because it's it's unusual I don't see it it's probably only worth like eight or ten uh, maybe maybe I'm wrong though maybe it's worth more um, my friend also from this first story goes to uh, bought me this set of perfume and it turned out to be eight dollars and the powder here I know I can sell by itself for 20 or 25 and I don't know about the bath oil, you know, I might lot the this and that. Uh, I probably will take it out of a set and sell it that way. I have to decide. I'm going to look up the set and see what the set sells for. Um, but sometimes it's cheaper because of shipping to sell things individually. And then I also have uh, oh, Arpege Lavin, one and a half fluid ounces. We will see. Uh, you know, I think this is probably worth $20, $25. So, I mean, this, if the set was worth, say, $50, I'd prob probably list it that way. Anyway. Um, a friend of mine got me a bag of just cases. These come in handy because um, a lot of you people probably don't know, um, but the sun tears up um, the plastic on these cases, so they just don't last forever, you know. And I, I'm constantly switching them out or or uh, winding up just taking the games out of the case altogether. It's a nonsense game, and using the case for. Um, just putting in a binder loose and, and or maybe using, a, if it's a nonsense game, using the case for something else. All right. Oh, uh, let me go through that. Oh, hey, um, these, I bought these. This is uh, my friends in the movie. Uh, he'll know who he is. I'm not going to point the person out. 
uh, even though I did narrow it down to two people <laughs> by saying he. He, ma he made a, like a short film, so I, I guess I'll do a shout-out for him. Uh, anyway, I bought, uh, I'm, su I'm supporting my friend. I paid 10 for the two. All right, let's see. Oh, um, okay, I'll do this, and then I'll finish here. Uh, a kid that used to buy from me when he was younger... Uh, he did two things uh, to me on Sunday. He, he brought back his system and a couple of games, and he says uh, he said the system had glitches and he should return it. He probably bought it two years ago. But what I did was like I know the kid, and he's been buying from me over the years. So I said, you know what? Okay, fine. I gave him back uh, what I believe he paid, and uh, it turns out the system was glitchy because I had it checked by a friend. So we're going to try and repair it. Uh, but he also brought back these two games, so I gave him forty for the system and this and that. And I think about two years ago uh, he was he was younger. And uh, it might have been three years. So I gave him, a, a, back then, 40 for a system, and this probably was a pretty good deal. And, and it's fine now, because I think I could sell Super Mario World for at least 20 Super Battle Tank, I don't know, probably $8. And once I get the system back, that's $25, $30 very easily. Probably 30 or 35 with a game now. Um, but after I gave him the money and returned stuff, he said, look, I have other games and stuff if you want to buy. So I did. Um, he had some Blu-rays. I got an Alice in Wonderland, uh, Transformers. I didn't even check the condition. They said they were his, and it works. I got a Transformers 2 just Special Edition, uh, Batman, Despicable Me, uh, Avatar, and I got a, a Hobbit on uh, Blu-ray. Now, I never really get Blu-ray, but I have a feeling I can only sell, unless they're worth a lot on Amazon, I have a feeling I'm only going to sell them for like $4, 2 for 7 maybe 3 for 10 um, They may only sell... For me, I don't know, at flea markets, they may only sell in the three, two for five dollars. I don't really know. You know, I'm going to find out. But I figured if I paid a dollar fifty, then I could sell them three dollars, two for five, whatever, and, and not lose up. And then he brought me some nonsense games. And I kind of, I either, I think I gave him like two dollars a piece for these. Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam, Thor, Far Cry. I think that's a tough sell. Pirates of the Caribbean. These are games that are probably only worth four dollars or or so on Amazon, you know, maybe five or so. So I'm probably going to sell them in the four or five dollar range. Uh, probably four, two, seven, three, four, ten. That's my new thing. Four, two, seven, three, four, ten. Um, uh, Red Steel, don't know about that game. Batman, the video game. Uh, Krusty, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, Creature from the Krusty Krab, and Raymond, uh, Raving Rabbits. And then I gave him like five for uh, Street Fighter. Which one is that? Seven, six, Street, Street Fighter Six. No, actually, Street Fighter Four. Um, because I don't really know what this is worth, but I'm assuming it's worth eight, ten at least. You know, so. And then Assassin's Creed, I don't think it's that valuable, so I think I gave him three for this one. And then I think I gave him five apiece for the Mario and Sonic Olympic Games and the Mario and Sonic Olympic Winter Games. One of these may be worth more than the other, uh, but that price might have dropped because they've been out for a while. And uh, and again. Because I sell games at the flea markets, people are just bring me stuff now, like all the time. Um, and he was one of the ones that did it today. And then someone else who I recently sold a PS3, uh, I'm sorry, PSP to, um, also had some games that he did not want anymore. And they're mostly not really games with much value. Um, like a Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots, this is probably a game I will only sell for four or five dollars. You know, um, I got a Bionicle here, so I think I paid him like two dollars. Uh, oh no, you know, I might have paid him three dollars a piece, two for five, something like that for these. And I got a Sonic Chronicles. This may be worth a little bit more. I don't think the Bionicle Heroes is worth much. This might be worth eight or ten, or you know. Uh, and then I gave him, I think, a dollar because again, it's somebody I know. And normally, like, I don't really want games like this so much, but the cases are nice and. There was a mix of some decent games, so I kind of broke it down. I gave him like a dollar fifty, and um, and I will sell him four, two for seven, three for ten. So I gave him a dollar fifty for uh, Dark Summit, Outlaw Volleyball, Project uh, Gotham Ra uh, Racing. You would think this might be a more valuable game because sometimes character games are worth more, but I don't believe it is. I'll, I'll have to double check uh, myself on that. The case is real clean up. What I may do is is take switch these cases out for like beat cases that I got. Because they're so nice and neat, you know. I mean, they're really nice. The edges are clean and everything. Um, I got a Reckless, the Yakuza Mission. And every once in a while, if I get a more valuable game, you know, I can switch it out for a better case. Um, Dead or Alive 3. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You know, this wasn't worth much, so it probably still isn't worth much. 
Um, then he had the two halos. Now, they're, they're not really worth listing on Amazon because they're not really worth, they're worth five or eight or something like that. But I can still sell these for at least five at the Flea Market. five or eight dollars or something like that. I can get a little bit more from them. Then games like Spider-Man, um, definitely common. Outlaw Golf, unless it, it's in jumped it's jumped in value for some reason, which I know it hasn't. This is a very difficult game to sell. It's, it's kind of, I gave him something for, that I normally wouldn't buy at all because I figure I'll average it out. Max Payne, uh, a hard to sell game, but uh, it's fun, so I don't, I don't know what's so hard to sell. Uh, Lord of the Rings, one of those games that just don't sell. Um, I, like, if I didn't eat this case, I might take it out of the case and just put it in, um, put the game in, um, like, uh, in a binder and just sell it that way because and I still ask four dollars or three dollars or um, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfare, um, Warfare not a valuable game and I think I, yeah that's it this is the last thing that I got yesterday and I don't know if I mentioned it uh, I actually wound up I have about two hundred and eight into everything here and another five for the, for the bag of uh, these cases, which will come in handy. And also, uh, part of the 208 is $60 worth of jewelry, which you don't see. Um, because um, my wife was like, no, I'm putting it right out. So she put it out. I didn't film it. And w one good thing is she spent $60 for the jewelry that she got. And she was able to sell one of the pieces that she got later that day. Now she bought it in the morning. It was like a, an ivory uh, bangle. She was able to sell it for... $50, you know, so she got most of her money back on that one piece. Anyway, that's it. That's everything I got yesterday.